were the Nice players offside, I'm sure they were, as Adrian Barney will get in the corner. That's an interesting one that will be debated. Cardiff have chosen a, a large pack. Um, you know, we think it'll be a cumbersome pack moving around the field, so we hopefully we'll, we'll spread them wide and uh, pace up the game a bit and uh, we'll come out at the end of the day winners. A graphic example of what that heady concoction of success and sunshine can produce. Interest at a season high as the locals anticipate an afternoon's confirmation of the top team tag. And off Clayton Thomas's whistle starts a game that in league parlance is a four-pointer. The first touch is to Hemi Taylor and his scrum half, Andy Booth. And that will settle things as Andy Booth, a man is at the centre of some uh, Cardiff, uh, disquiet in a sense, with the new scrum half on his way there. And whether his future remains with that club is something to be discussed. So the middle of the line contest between Galshawellin and Darwin Jones will be the one to watch, although there, that's free ball for Cardiff. Now then, Mike Hall. Colin Leighty against former opponent sets it back nicely. Owen Williams, that is excellent back row support work. This is where the contest will be won and lost in the back row as Mike Hall gets away. That's a lovely run from Hall, beautifully balanced running. Now then, Simon Hill was Hall taken out without the ball? He was. The referee playing the advantage. That's good vision from Leighty. Now then, Adrian Davis away from Shaw is the support. Lovely looping. Now then, Mike Ray, Hemi Taylor. The support from Howard Stone, beautiful hands from Stone. This is classic Cardiff work. And what a timely interception from Steve Williams. Breathtaking work from Cardiff. And now Neil Shirley will just try and settle it. It's still not out of play. It's infield. Steve Ford in a difficult position with five Neath players in front of him. Will start to attack Matthew Singer. And that could be awkward for Cardiff because all their players are in front. John Davis then. What a start to a game this is. Barry Williams to Bridges. Now that Steve Williams, way behind the game line, has to make headway on Adrian Davis. Former teammates does it well. Bridges, McCarthy. This should settle things at last. It's a long chase. It's Singer and Hill. And what an opening that is. And what a pace and what a tempo to set, set for a game. And Matthew McCarthy will get a huge... Uh, word of approval from the rest of the players both Cardiff and Neath just for that kick to settle things well, Hall's pace here sizzling good intelligent support running from Hill offered him either option and there Steve Williams taken out without the ball and the intelligent refereeing from Clayton Thomas and that was offside just a little bit of uh, disquiet and silly stuff early on. What a shame. And there'll be words of wisdom or even more forthright words. And it's Ian Bobia being pointed out. And could that be the marching orders right in the opening? Well, what a combination that would be. That's off. That's off. Kicking is the offence and in the opening three minutes of the game we've had attacks that have been breathtaking and now offences that end in sending off let's keep an eye on number six then he's on the outside being held on one side for one moment and that's where the kick came in on John Humphreys and spotted by the referee so Cardiff he, that's good play yet again Mike Rea away from short that's beautiful balance running from Steve Ford. Again, Mike Hall is the ball. Well, that will cause the odd flutter because fractionally only would that have been forward. And again, Cardiff showing their intent. And that man Hall is captain, leading the way. Well, the difference at the back of the line out with Owen Williams at six foot three and Varney five foot ten or less. Still, possession is Cardiff's. Look forward by Neath. Strum will go to Cardiff. It's a, a blood substitution. 
So onto the field comes an internationalist as a replacement, Martin Morris. He is fortunate to have strength and depth in the back row as Taylor wants to exploit that weakness on the blind side. Stone and Booth, good combination. And Maris, Morris quickly into the action. Good dive, good save, and well executed by the flanker. A few pacier men on the field than the Neath replacement, Martin Morris. Does add height to the tail at the moment as well, which should help uh, Neath. The aim is at Derwin Jones, and it's well protected as well by Taylor. And Williams has good support here. It's tightly knit and forceful in front of him. Oh, then, is there release of the ball for Cardiff? It took too long. Cardiff will fancy their chances here. Steve Williams is trying to protect that blind side. Matthew McCarthy's gone across, but the scrum is strong enough. Not over. Anthony Booth nudge forward. So a succession of pressure scrums and over eagerness. Idrivani ready to re-enter the fray. He can't for the moment though. Can his side hold out? Collapse scrum. And it's against Lyndon Musto. Against Brian Williams on that far side, taking down the scrum. So some relief there in the neat camp. But uh, both Auburn can now kick that ball far away from the danger area and very nearly up to the halfway line. So the exchange of back row men as Martin Morris departs and back onto the field comes Adrian Varney. Andy Booth, very comfortable in front of him. No wonder with the lead down to seven against Cardiff's eight. So well, that could be dangerous as the two wingers try and run out of defence. Still well done. So it's Singer that hoists it. Does anybody want it? It could be awkward this for Cardiff. And they dive in to protect it. So surely from straight in front, Paul Thorman will kick it go. 17 minutes gone. And surely here, Neath's first point to the game. True. Yep. At last then, they've endured some pressure, some upheavals with uh, a man sent off. And yet, at last, they've got their first points on the board through that man, Paul Thorburn. Ben Humphreys with the aim at uh, Jones, but again, Cardiff claim it. Now then, Mike Hall, through Matthew McCarthy, through Varney. Now then, the support is there from Leite. One more pass would make it. Cardiff, with everything to play for here, it's just a matter of the ball appearing, but it's been killed. So many times did he kick for the home club here at the Knoll. Here, though, to level the scores for Cardiff. And Adrian Davis makes it true. And three points then. Booth and Davis again. Cardiff looking to bring in Mike Rea. Again, looks to get outside. Paul Thorburn is this someone? Coming inside, Mike Hall needs to get a toe to it. Well covered by Singer. And Steve Williams has got in there well to try and block it as well. And Cardiff still have it. It's a matter of getting it away from uh, that tangle of bodies. And Cardiff still taking it on. It's well protected as well. They can set up a drive here. But finally, the determination of that knee defence just uh, holding on so the aim here surely we, will be towards Derwin Jones at the middle of that line out again it's over the top and uh, Cardiff because of that well they do reclaim it Adrian Davis drop kick at goal yes the leader Cardiff and again how often did he do that for Neath and now it's the other way and takes Cardiff into a three point lead Somehow possession came Cardiff's way, and no doubts in the mind of uh, Adrian Davis at all. No need to look around, just put it between the posts and three points. And Cardiff had made difficult work of the lineup, but possession finally came, and with an East defence so well organised, 
no real option for Adrian Davis and a certain three points. There are real problems here for the Neath scrum in just holding it down. That's not too bad. Steve Williams and Bridges. Bridges spots a little gap. Good support running as well from Steve Williams. Eagerly there, the rest of the Neath eight. Now then, Barry Williams now gets away from opposite number John Humphreys. Is it enough now? They clear the path for the rest of them. Matthew McCarthy wants Steve Williams running at the midfield. Varney gets support. Who's the next one? Varney. That's determined work. Now then, John Humphreys does remarkably well to turn him there, but needs still protected. Now then, McCarthy and Shaw. Shaw into a huge gap. Now he needs to time it. Oh, such a shame he lost his footing. And Mike Rea, was that a high tackle? Yes, it was. Really have had some movement here. And Steve Williams, a judge to have uh, put in a high tackle on Mike Rea. Neath were really on the boil here. And with Mike Hall trying to cover Paul Thorburn, the gap was offered to Shaw. And just a shame, he lost his footing. Just an ankle tap from Colin Leighty put an end to it all. Again, the long read, well, the intention was a long one. And there could be problems here. Offside against Emmy Taylor. Coming back from in front of the man who knocked on the ball. Carter Trewell was so quick to get hands on that ball to make sure that uh, none of his fellow forwards got hold of it and started running with it. And interesting this, that uh, needs to change their kicker from one of such a reputation as Paul Thorburn to someone relatively inexperienced such as Matthew McCarthy. Three points at stake. Kicks it. A huge sigh of relief. And it's back to level terms. Six points each. And Taylor protects it well for Booth. Uh, that's not the best executed Cardiff attack, and that could be very awkward indeed. Martin Morris knows one way and one way only. Straight on, taking out would-be tacklers. Now then, Matthew McCarthy. And the kick ahead from Adrian Shaw. Difficult this for Mike Rea. Now he's there for John Davis. But D Ford will get there. 22. Well, that's a... An example of the work rate of the neat forwards and front row, especially John Davis, there first to support the centre and hack through. He's quick to counter attack, and that was well placed by Shaw. And difficult bounce for Mike Rea, ball out of his grasp, and the football skills of John Davis not quite able to result in a try. That's a concerned face of a man with a vested interest. Commercial director Brian Thomas. So all the neat three quarters standing left of the scrum. So opening up lots of options that far side. Crandon trying to seek a way through. Abney uh, protected that well enough. It's on its way. Just able to see it. Bridges again wanting to exploit that right hand side. Now then, Matthew McCarthy. That's sizzling. Oh, what a try! Knew he was taking on the tallest the opposition but not the quickest and McCarthy sizzling pace the outside beckoned and over he went uh, it was a good pack from the forwards he went some quick ball Bridgie spot the gap in the right it was quick to see him and I managed to scrape through Adrian was chasing seen a bit of a gap just managed to dive in the corner. Very great though. Playing against the wind that helped Neath's cause here. The ball had been held up so that the wreck was formed. And then with so many of the Cardiff defenders involved in midfield, an easy route for McCarthy. Well, my call times it well for Simon Hill. Now then, with the pass, that was forward. Again, Cardiff showing that the intention is to play it wide but the execution in midfield, just leaving something to be desired. And it's 
not easy for Chris Bridges. It's a fine kick from Paul Corbin and just Barrio. Is that taken in by? That'd be interesting. Well, that would cause some argument, I'm sure, as Mike Hall gets away, wants to attack the outside, then the inside. Fine tackle by Martin Morris. Excellent cover tackle by the flanker. Yet again, showing the pace that he's got, but I'm sure that throw it again will cause a little dissatisfaction because Mike Ray took it over the touchline himself and then threw it in. Let's watch this. Caught in field, then steps over, then turns and throws it in. Well, should have been a neat line out. Singer is back and waiting for it. Wants Paul Thorburn. Now oh. oh, then. He's away from the first man. This is excellent running from Matthew Singer. And that releases Chris Bridges. What a fine tackle, though. Good play by Brian Williams. And again, needs showing tremendous enterprise. In a sense, forced into it because the wind is very strong and too strong to kick. So Matthew Singer wanted his fullback back to kick this into touch, but with Thorburn telling him, run it. It was a matter of putting his head back and getting away from flankers, prop forwards, you name it. But this from Simon Hill is a fine tackle on Chris Bridges and Brian Williams there to support. As Fawellin claims it, now then Bridges can attack from here. Support again of Martin Morris. This is stressful work from Neath. It's controlling it. This next problem, Steve Grandon. Now then, can he go? Sure, as well tackled by Steve Ford. That was timely from Ford. Otherwise, it would have been a certain try. As Brian Williams takes it on, Neath still in control of it. So is Gareth Llewellyn. Now then, can they swing it the other way? Tim Michael and Grandon. Grandon getting the direction right. Barry Williams and John Humphreys in the head-to-head. -head. The two hookers as John Davis is whistled as you sense that Cardiff goal line. 